Hello Scorpio, how are you doing? Uh, my, mm. my name is Simply Valka and I'm going to be doing your general reading for the coming week. And so as I give you, relay this message to you, make sure to rely on your intuition. I always ask people to rely on your intuition for the messages that I have because I'll speak of one situation but it could pertain to a different way in your life in specific, right? Um, so yeah, and if this reading is helpful to you and is of resonance to you, please let me know in the comments below and which card resonates with you. Um, I always love knowing how people's lives are going and how it just correlates with each individual. Um, and so yeah, if this reading also does resonate and gives you a sense of direction, uh, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. So I'm going to give out this last row here and then we'll just get started and I'll clarify as we go. All right, Scorpio. So for your first row, we have the tower card, which like flew out for you, Scorpio. We have the tower card. Then we have the Eight of Wands. And then we have as well the Two of Wands for your first row. It's interesting because it's like a... I associate the Eight of Wands with the Necronomicon kind of associated with the Tower card. This is kind of already telling me that some of you guys Scorpio, some of you Scorpios are questioning what it is that you do now, perhaps, or questioning something. There's some type of questioning um, happening in something that maybe like you didn't originally think of that you'd be put in this kind of position, perhaps. You didn't, you're kind of like wondering why you're put in this position. And I say like it's a completely new position because it's like as the tower, what the tower card represents, right? It's like taking care, like breaking the old and bringing in the new. That's kind of what I associate it with. You're going to be going through like a lesson of some sort. Eight of Wands, I associate that like when it's paired with a tower card, especially just with the imagery of it. I feel like this is kind of like a loss of a passion. Like there's some kind of emotion. It's a spark kind of like that's starting to dim a little bit is what I feel. And with the Two of Wands energy, it's like after everything goes asunder, like you tear everything to shreds, then you're kind of left with like a whole new path. You're left with a whole new uh, path before you that you could take a whole new choice, whole new person moving on from somebody or work situation, perhaps. I pulled some clarifiers for us. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Hierophant. And then we have the Three, or no, not the Three of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. So this is the clarifier for your tower card. So this is kind of, oh, as well as the Hierophant. I apologize. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, this is like a, this is a clarifier for your tower card. And what this is kind of telling me is maybe, hmm, this may be a, almost like a case of like, elevating yourself in a sense because I when you associate the I associate the higher fan with higher knowledge higher learning you're kind of pushing yourself a little bit in some type of way when you have the uh, one two three four five six of cups I don't know if I said six of cups before and you have the six of cups here this is involving other people and then you have the three of cups or not the three of cups I cannot speak apparently Scorpio when you have the five of swords this is signifying to me, maybe this tower moment is connected with other people. Uh, this may mean like a situation of where you're, or maybe like it's like a group thing of where you guys are all, like where all of you are. I feel like you're going through some type of transitional phase with a group of people. That's what I'm getting. Uh, but let's get some clarifiers on the Eight of Wands here, right? Okay, so your Eight of Wands, I pulled the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, or Three of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Sun card. Yeah, I feel like this is almost like a transitional phase for you. Maybe you're not, I feel like you need to do something new this week, Scorpio. I feel it's almost as if you need to change what it is, change up your routine this week, change up uh, 
start venturing out a little bit maybe start like socializing a little bit maybe this is the, like this is what the cards are telling me in this act of like maybe you're not necessarily like having like a break in, like anything's falling in your face necessarily but it's like a, you need to have a new game plan that's what i'm seeing you need to go back to the drawing board with something or just in general with your life and figure out what it is that you want to do and truly go for that you know if you if you want to um if you want to lose weight go to the drawing board figure out like have a game plan be like okay how am i going to treat every single day so that i can lose this weight you know taking it extremely seriously and really taking matters into your own hands um and really yeah i feel like this is like a yeah this is now it's making more sense to me now you need to go back to the drawing board scorpio with just your life in general or whatever facet of your life this could be dealing with like relationships and dynamic with other people right um you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what it is that you want how do you want you to fill your cups up how and how do you go about doing that right because you need to like you're at a point now where you're not happy i feel i feel like you're going into a cycle you're going into a loop um and the high priestess card kind of tells me that you know this already that you've noticed this and maybe you're just trying to you're at a point now maybe where you're just like well what the heck what do i do now like you're just feeling lost perhaps because it's like you have with the three of wands you're looking off into the distance with these wands cards and i always associate the wands cards with um with passion of some sort and usually i would associate those three of wands as like a good thing and it is a good card overall but it's like you're looking off in this card on top of this card as well, two of wands, and the Necronomicon, you're looking off into the distance. I feel like so much Scorpio that you're just trying to figure out what it is that you need to change and what it is that you need to improve on. But I feel almost as if like, and this is not going to be something that a lot of people want to hear, a lot of you Scorpios want to hear, but there's something that you could be doing to improve. I feel, I feel like there's more action that you could take, physical action or just, yeah, just motion that you could be taking or accountability that you could be taking on yourself to get to where you want to go, right? You There's something that you're not seeing in yourself or something that you're not pushing in yourself to the maximum potential because it's like, or maybe you're pushing your, all your energy into the wrong things and that's why you're being suggested from spirit to go back to the drawing board this week, Scorpio. Uh, really figure out what your intentions are and set up that game plan. And enough of this like, you know, like, I feel like you need to claim back this Empress energy of yours. Um, but yeah, that's your first row. We have, for your second row, like, it goes into it as well. We have the Empress card, Scorpio. We have the Seven of Swords. And then we have the Emperor. It's, it's interesting. Before I even pull any clarifiers, I love the Necronomicon in the sense of, like, the imagery of it and just how these cards are set up. It's like the Empress is, like, trying to stab at the emperor in some kind of sense so it's almost as if kind of telling me there's a confrontation that you need to have um or someone needs to make the move maybe that's part of the thing maybe that's like a maybe like an elephant in the room perhaps maybe uh or maybe this is just with yourself maybe like you need to have like this talk with yourself you're like Empress, Emperor energy of having that balance. Maybe that's like the theme for you this week, Scorpio, is finding that balance with yourself of being able to like not only have your passion, but also live life a little bit as well. You know, maybe you need to go back to the drawing board because you've been putting all your energy into just work, perhaps, and you haven't had any kind of fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, or just like any type of fulfillment in any other way because you've just been putting all your energy into that and there's that been that imbalance. So, yeah like yeah you can be that boss person but you still want to like you still want to balance out that boss person with the other side of it yeah you know you want to have your work but also fulfill like the social battery of yourself as well the emotional battery of yourself and like what you know what where what you time do you have scorpio um you need to find that balance because i feel like that's partially why you may feel stuck is because you're not having like this proper balance you're just trying to dive too deep into whatever like one singular thing and this card keeps trying to come out the ten of wands yeah i feel like you're taking on too much and it's exhausting you and you're just kind of like running on fumes perhaps because you look at this imagery of this card and you're just running on fumes the entire time right 
And so I it's interesting how this is how the story is playing out for you, Scorpio. I really yeah, I don't feel, because it's like a, I can almost understand your frustration that you don't understand what it is that you're doing wrong, because I can't even quite tell in your cards what it is that you're doing wrong necessarily, other than that you're trying too hard. Yeah, you need to like, just, you need to go back to the drawing board, Scorpio. You need to go back to the drawing board and like, stop putting all your energy and all your ducks into one specific avenue and start spreading things out. That's what I'm getting. This is how the story is translating to me. I'm understanding this half now. It's like, you need to go back to the drawing board, Scorpio. Um, stop repeating patterns or cycles and start anew. You need to remind yourself of this Empress energy that you were. Maybe you feel, maybe you already know that like you're, there's like a lacking, you're not feeling like you're an Empress anymore. And so it's just like that maybe that's where that really power struggle is happening with yourself. It's like by putting so much Empress energy, right? Because we had two Empress cards come in for you. And normally, like again, right, you would associate this being good thing, Scorpio. I still kind of associate this with being a good thing. But it's like again, we go into that imagery with the seven of swords and look like like it was pointed and like stabbing towards the Emperor. It's like a you're like there's like a neglect there's almost like this disdain for something this disdain for or maybe not this 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 disdain but just like yeah just like i want to say like neglect or just like a confrontation that you need to have with somebody or with yourself even and committing to it you know if it like if that if you've been really wanting to accomplish like losing weight commit to it we have the hangman as another clarifier hangman with the seven of cups i mean come on like, you can't get any more clearer than this, in that you need to truly, Scorpio, commit to something, but don't get, <laughs> don't overburden yourself in it. So I guess, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I understand, like, your struggle and figuring out what it is that you're doing wrong. I don't feel like you're necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just maybe the fact that, like, because, like, you'll commit to something. Maybe you don't, you have no problems committing to something. It's just, like, a you'll commit to one specific thing and then overburden yourself. And that's the problem. Whereas you want to like have this nice balance where each cup is filled, not just one thinking one cup is, once you have this one cup overflowing, that's gonna somehow fill up the other cups. It's not how that works. You need to have a nice balance um, and have a nice energy flow with everything. You know, you wanna have like a high vibrational, um, point of view of energy when it comes to like your emotional state as well as like with your finances and your business uh mental state as well like, there needs to be an like overall um shift or upgrade of in a sense you can't just focus on it's kind of like just the person just only doing squats like yeah you can get some kind of shape with just doing squats but the person that is doing it like a whole well-rounded workout is going to have a much overall defined um, body and even probably still a more defined butt, especially if they do more than just squats, right? Um, you know, so think about it in that way. You know, you're not doing anything wrong by just doing a bunch of squats, no, right? Like squats are squats, like you benefit from them. If you just do a bunch of push-ups, yeah, you can benefit from doing a bunch of push-ups. But imagine if you just started, instead of doing like a thousand push-ups a day you spread that energy into maybe doing a hundred push-ups and then like that energy that you spent doing 900 extra push-ups you did into bound like something else that's what i feel for you um yeah king of cups scorpio the star and the chariot i feel like yeah maybe this is like the week for you scorpio to really just get in touch with your emotions dare i even say that you need to take a break yeah that's what I'm getting. I know. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like you guys need to take a break and to figure out where your wands are that's overburdening you, and to figure out how you want to go about carrying these wands. To figure out, you know, going. Let's take this week, Scorpio, to develop a game plan. The chariot card is talking about fast movement, so it's like once you make that decision, you know, with the star card and the king of cups. Like I feel like once you have your like, you're gonna have like a light bulb moment where you're like, aha. 
this is like what I needed to work on. This is what the, you know, you're going, once you start opening yourself up to these energies, I feel like you're going, it's things are going to just start flowing naturally for you. It's almost as if like a blockage is just removed or like the dam is just loosening up for you, Scorpio. And so, yeah, that's the overall reading that I have for you, Scorpio. I'm going to pull um, a couple more Oracle cards, see any, what messages that we have from the universe for you, Scorpio. And then, as well i don't know why this kangaroo card is in here but we have the gate gray kangaroo which talks about abundance so that's a wonderful thing so i feel like that's just like meant for you scorpio so i feel like maybe you need that reminder that you're going to have that abundance to so stop overloading yourself with that 10 10 of wands i feel like that 10 of wands is really calling you out tree of life yeah i feel like yeah when you i so much so scorpio in that you guys need to branch out a little bit more you need to have more fulfillment in more than just one specific thing let's see these moon cards you and your loved ones are safe yeah i feel like this is such a push for you to get in touch with your emotional side new moon in libra new romantic cycle begins hello scorpio conclusions are within reach this is exactly what spirit's telling me scorpio is like your conclusions are within reach once you like open yourself up to love in whatever way that is maybe for a lot of people for you scorpio maybe it's just like building more friendships um broadening your uh reach of friends you know your friend group, right because they have the, i want to remind you your five of swords you're walking away from a group but i don't feel like it's necessarily a bad thing i feel like you're just increasing your horizon naturally as you open up you're going to be more open to other energies i feel like that's what you need Scorpio. But yeah, that's the messages that I have for you. I hope this is helpful to you, Scorpio. I can't wait to connect with you later, though. I love you so much. Bye.